Hey guys, Alex Allgood from Broad Productions here, and today you're going to be learning how to make your films look like, uh, films. Uh, we're going to be working on some color correction techniques on to get that desired, a uh, very professional Hollywood film look that comes out from a 35mm, 70mm, whichever, a film camera basically. Um, it's a very nice effect and will make your videos look much more professional. Um, so, here is a test clip of the raw footage and then the final edit. Check it out. Oh, hell no! Oh, hell no! Now, as you can see, the second clip looks much better, looks much more professional, and just overall gives a better outlook on the shot. Um, and thus will make your whole movie um, just look a lot more professional and pleasing and and happy and uh, intimate. Uh, okay, don't really know where I'm going with this, but that uh, that doesn't matter. So let's get started. Here we are in Sony Vegas, and I just have raw footage straight from my camera dropped in to Sony Vegas. No effects have been done whatsoever. Don't believe me? Call the cops. Here's my address. Two, no, just kidding. I'm not really going to give you my address to arrest me. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the aspect ratio of our shot. Um, <clears throat> preferably, you want to see if you can shoot your shot in <clears throat> widescreen because that's much easier to work with and then you don't have to zoom in. And Just basically try to record in widescreen. <laughs> so we have our footage which is 16-9 aspect ratio. And then we're going to go down to our footage uh, layer, the video layer, and click the event pan crop button. Well, oh, fell out of screen. There we go. Um, and here we are. Big F. Not sure why they put an F, but, you know, whatever. Fun. This is fun. It's funny and fun. It's kind of like pickles. Fickles. Okay. So we're going to click this button over here, um, third up, that says lock as aspect ratio. Now we're going to click that off. You want to make sure it's off. So that way we can move this around however we want on the video. And we'll right click and click restore for my stupid moves. Now we'll look down, look at the original video, and we're going to scale it up. Now this doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, really gives the de desired effect. We're trying to achieve um, what comes out of a 35 millimeter camera called anamorphic widescreen type this in on Google Images and you'll get some screenshots of some movies and you can drag and drop those movies into Sony Vegas and uh, put it behind it and then match this up to be the same uh, height or width, whichever. Um, but um, that's if you're uh, OCD. Um, so we're going to click that. That's about good enough. But we have one problem. Um, what we want in our scene that was originally fine in the original footage is now cut off from us cutting this scene. So what we can do is, um, cell phone, again, happens in all my tutorials. What? Okay, anyway, um, this, this fun box, we're just gonna drag it up to where we want. And in this scene, we don't necessarily want his head, but we do want, like, that and make sure you keep it centered um, don't move the X center only the Y center um, for you for else that will happen and you'll get this black box inside and that's that's just not fun so we will put that back in place and we'll put it where you want it about right there and then if you have a scene where you have it right and then three seconds later it's wrong you can go further in the timeline and keyframe the motion um, just drag and drop to where you want and then move it up or down wherever you need it and then you know just go from there every time you see a part that's wrong just move it slightly up and down to fix it and um, just go through and make sure all your shots are have what you want in the scene and make sure you're not cutting anything off and it helps to when you're actually on scene recording um, think about this beforehand and make sure your shots are in the middle of the frame rather than being on the very edges of the 16:9 ratio because then you have to cut it off and deal with this you want to you want to try your best not to 
make this digital camera movement. You want to keep it all all on the raw footage. It'll just look better in the final shot. So we have our aspect ratio done. Now let's actually make it look like film. We're going to go to the video effects tab and we're going to go down to color corrector. And we're just going to put in reset to none so it is all default parameters. Now film has a distinctive look and it is, um, to me, it's a, it's a purplish tint, a purplish blue. So we're going to drag the low up just a little to, to purple. And in the mid, we're going to drag it up almost the same. About a little, maybe a little bit higher. And then the high, we're going to drag straight up and then a tad over to the purple side. So that gives the whole video a, uh, a nice color boost along with a purplish tint over the lows. Um, and then with saturation, we're going to bring it up to bring out those colors. And then bring the game or maybe down a little bit bring the gain up bring out those highs and the offset which is basically your middle colors um, I'm gonna bring that what is that down a little bit and then that looks that looks pretty good and then from there you can go up to the top where it says reset to none and uh, backspace and click film film look extra cool look whatever you want I already have a preset on here. I just called it film. And there we have it. Basically the same thing we just did, just uh, with gain a little bit higher. Um, so we'll exit out of that. We'll keep that on there. That looks, that looks great. And then if you want to get really fancy, you can even add in some film grain. Back in the video effects tab, if you just go to the uh, film grain effect, and put in the first effect. We'll drag that in there. And then on the amount, we're going to take it down. So it's a very, very low amount of grain. Because you don't want a lot. Because then, it, you know, it just makes your video look uh, like someone pooped on it. And that's nor professional for me to say. Um, so we'll add it uh, to about 0 0.04. Maybe, maybe we'll round it up and do some math. And go 0, 0.04. Five. There we go. And again, I saved a preset called Film, and it's right there. And then, and then we'll exit out of that, and you're good. Add in some cool music. Do whatever you want. Your video is looking, looking great. Yeah, some language. Make sure your mama's not in the room, or she'll have to slap you across the face. Kind of like how my mama calls me on all my tutorials and interrupts me. Um, yeah, it's always awkward. Anyway, hope this helped you guys. Um, make sure to post a video response um, of your videos using these techniques if they helped you. Um, and yeah, I'd love to see your work. And uh, everyone should visit broadproductions.net. We have some free downloads. You just got to become a member. It's easy, fast, and free. Um, oh, and everyone needs to check out the Acoustic Lemonade Wrap. Um, now, I just finished this and uploaded the video. So hopefully in like a year or so when people are watching this, I don't look like a fruitcake. Um, which it's already a, a pretty embarrassing video. But whatever. Okay. Um, back on the topic of tutorials. Uh, yeah, see you later.